Did you know that the most important part of your entire body is your central nervous system? Your central nervous system, also known as the master system, is made up of your brain and your spinal cord, and it controls every single function in your entire body. In fact, your central nervous system is so important that it's the only body part that is totally encased in bone for its protection. Starting at the top is your brain. And your brain is the central processing unit of your body and it coordinates and computes all the electrical signals that are sent throughout your nervous system and your entire body. So from your brain, electrical impulses or signals are sent down your spinal cord and travel all the way to the base of your spine. And branching off of your spinal cord are these fine thread-like structures called spinal nerves. And they exit between the vertebrae of the spinal column to supply all your muscles, cells, and organs. And from there, the electrical impulses are sent back up to the brain in a feedback loop. And at every level in your spine, the exiting spinal nerves supply specific muscles and organs. For instance, starting from your lower back, these spinal nerves supply such structures as your legs, reproductive organs, bladder, kidneys, and colon. As we move up the spine to the upper back or thoracic spine, the exiting spinal nerves supply such organs as your liver, stomach, heart, and lungs. Moving up further to your neck, these nerves supply such structures as your eyes, ears, throat, and arms. Central Nervous System Introduction How does your arm move when you want it to move? How do you remember the way to your friend's house? Why do you blink without you ever thinking about it? If you think it is your brain, you are correct. Your brain runs the show and controls just about everything you do, including those activities which are going on inside your bodies. All such actions have to be properly timed and coordinated, which is done by the nervous system and the hormonal system. Let's understand the nervous system. The nervous system is an organ system containing a network of specialized cells called neurons that coordinate the actions of an animal and transmit signals between different parts of its body. The nervous system is divided into two main systems. The central nervous system, that is CNS, and the peripheral nervous system. The spinal cord and the brain make up the CNS. Its main job is to get the information from the body and send out instructions. The peripheral nervous system is made up of all the nerves which transmit the messages from the brain to the rest of the body. The peripheral nervous system connects the CNS to sensory organs, such as the eye and ear, other organs of the body, muscles, blood vessels, and glands. The central nervous system is comprised of the brain and spinal cord, which is located in and protected by the skull and the vertebral column. Neurons are the basic building blocks of the nervous system. These specialized cells are the information processing units of the brain, responsible for receiving and transmitting information. Each part of the neuron plays a role in the communication of information throughout the body. Let us learn the structure of a neuron. A neuron has three basic parts, the cell body, the axon, and the dendrites. Cell body contains a well-defined nucleus surrounded by a granular cytoplasm. The cell body is also known as perikaryon or cyton. Dendrites are branched cytoplasmic projections of the cell body. They are for receiving impulses from the axon of another neuron.
dendrites of one axon of the other neuron are separated by an extremely narrow space called the synaptic cleft. Through this synaptic cleft, nerve impulses are transmitted. The axon, also called the nerve fiber, is a long process of a neuron cell body. The axon is specialized to carry messages. An axon of one neuron may have enough branches to make contact with as many as 1,000 other neurons. Axons are covered by a protective layer of a white insulating sheet called myelin sheet. The myelin sheet shows gaps throughout the length which are called nodes of Ranvier. The end portion of axons have swollen bulbs called axon terminals that store certain chemicals called neurotransmitters. There are three different types of neurons. The first one is sensory neurons which carry impulses from the sense organs to the central nervous system. The second type of neuron is motor neuron which carries impulses from the CNS to muscles or glands of our body and the third type of neuron is interneuron which connect various neurons within the brain and spinal cord. It carries information between the motor and sensory neurons.